Hey everyone, Sean and Sav here, and uh, today is the power package day. And you've got your power iron, right? Yes. You got your, your seven iron, and we tried this at the show, and it was really spot on. Yeah, we tried the G710. Yes. This is the G700, and I like it, but I tried the G710, and it feels and sounds better. Yeah, because they put a little thin layer of epoxy on the back of the face to yeah. dampen that sound, yeah. make it feel a lot more like a blade and uh, so that so your set feels more consistent yeah and uh, like a little bit of that little polymer slot that's in that uh, that uh, eye blade mm -hmm. and so uh, and then obviously with uh, the graphite shaft mm -hmm. and uh, so that one you carry about 175 we had the flag right there at 157 and you were you were flying that flag with your other seven iron yeah and so now we're gonna take it beyond that to the yellow flag that's behind it okay so today we're going to be talking about and I'm going to do a, a view from behind which will be really really advantageous for you um, and you'll be the, the view from the front here so go ahead and set up and if you remember two videos ago when we went from we, we were doing our warm-up with the chips and the pitches mm -hmm. so do a backswing and stop we got this wonderful set on on that second pendulum here mm -hmm. so show me um, a little back and through without stopping and every time you come through I want you to feel like you're throwing the club above those clouds nice and smooth very nice so every time you take your backswing you feel everything set beautifully yep. and it puts you in a great position to throw the club above those clouds mm -hmm. okay so go ahead and set up now just do a takeaway and stop so in the takeaway there's the center point of your swing mm -hmm. so keep going to the top now we've activated that second pendulum mm -hmm. start letting it fall so you notice as you're falling you're returning around that point yeah. and right about here you feel how the weight of the club wants to deliver this yeah so what's really cool is that from here when the, when the weight of the club starts to pull down, on, and by the way, most of you think you're missing the ball at this point, and you won't. So as the wrists start to unhinge, they also start to unrotate, if you yeah. will, right? That's, that's just your, your anatomy, plain and simple, that's gonna do this for you. Mm -hmm. So all you gotta do is deliver that nice throw in that direction with ease. Yeah. And we're gonna go back to your hovering? Yeah. Okay, so doesn't matter how you hit it. You got your line? You got space between for your arms, full freedom? Yeah. Good. Fantastic. Really nice contact, perfect little divot after the ball. Look at how your club started your ball was here yeah. and your club stayed in the grass all the way to here yeah. without even trying. Yeah. You were just predicting that when you threw that way that the sole of the club was going to cut the dandelion stem, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Good. Let's see it again. Awesome. Still in the air. Oh man, you're just that flying nice. that green. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. So from behind, when you when you look at it from my angle, I'm gonna go, there's my spot. Little draw, so the ball's a bit back in my stance. Takeaway. So you see how my my swing is moving around my first pendulum point then the right arm folds and activates pendulum number two now I'm gonna throw the target see how I went down throwing 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 oh look at that see how I got all the space my right elbow is moving in front of me and now I have access look where my hands are now from this angle here and look where the club head is 
So I'm throwing in that direction. So I'm collecting the ball here, releasing the ball out there. And if you look at, I'm going to put um, a wonderful picture of uh, Joachim Neiman. Mm. Oh man, does that guy provide eye candy when it comes to collecting and releasing a ball to the target. Yeah. Just incredible. You remember the, the, the view we did? Yeah. So he starts off with this beautiful arm unit, loads the arm unit perfectly, and now we're going to the target. And you see his head kind of drop and is dropping and is dropping. So notice as he's coming into impact, that right arm is still very bent. Mm -hmm. That club face is still open at that point. And then as the wrists start to un un unleash, see how the club collects slightly yeah. open? And the ball's coming off the face right about here. Notice how that club face is square now? Yeah. And the full extension is out in that direction. So mm -hmm. we're collecting and releasing. Yeah. So you're throwing the club in the direction that you want the ball to go. And you're making that prediction that if you do that, your, your contact's going to be good. So we're hovering and gather and throw. Nice. Oh. Sav, right um, on top of the right on top of yours, and that was absolutely nutted. So you can see, my ball was here, collect, release. Then the club keeps coming down, yeah, and down, and gets the ground, and mm -hmm. then comes out of the ground, and then finally comes out of the grass. Yeah. Okay. So let's see you match that divot right there. So the question I, I have for you is. When you throw that way, do you feel like the sole of the club can go through the bottom of that divot? Yeah. So it's going to be an air divot for you now. Ah, how much effort? Too much. And so will you focus more on the divot or mo focus more on throwing? I blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I don't even have to ask her. Good. Semi good. Yeah. Good miss. You almost got all the way through there. Now you hovering the club? Yeah. You did? Okay, good. So what's it gonna feel like when you throw it all the way out there with ease? Gorgeous. That was nice and crisp. Beautiful divot. Let me get you from behind here. Good miss, Sav. Start a little left of the green, drawn back to the left edge of the green, thin to win. Yeah. Come on back here, get your line again. Okay, what was the effort level? Too much. So let's do this. And this is, uh, I love doing this with my good players. So what you're going to do is you're going to do full backswing, throw it to a nice full finish, mm -hmm. hit it 120. Okay. Okay. Land it short of that green. Wow, look at that. So what happens, and this is, I'm glad you're doing this because mm -hmm. for this video, it's super important because we're, we're talking about the transition of that loaded arm unit yeah. and how we're going to deliver it out there. And what happens is if you get a little too harsh, yeah. you short circuit that kinetic chain mm -hmm. and, and the kinetic chain ends up loading too hard yeah. and delivering too soon, yeah. right? So did you feel the difference in that one? How it wasn't able to load hard, yeah. so it was easy to keep it going in that direction. Yeah. So let me see you do two, three more like that. So 120 yards, max, landed at front of the green there. Very good. I think I know what I was missing. You feel what you were missing? Yeah. 
Can you uh, describe it? Mm, it's kind of hard to describe. Kind of, isn't it? It's, it's really hard. Yeah. So I'll just let you hit a couple more. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's what I was missing. Okay, we figured it out. Right? So, you see how fast? Just by doing that. So, for all of you players out there who get a little... Mm, I was trying to force it too much, I think, but not realizing it. Not realizing. Exactly. Yeah. So, and that's... I mean, you're talking to the king of that one. When yeah. I was a junior, I used to freaking swing out of my shoes and yeah. try to hit the ball as hard as possible. Yeah. You know, the pro would be playing with me, yeah. and he'd get to a hole, and he's he's hitting six iron. And he says, Sean, what are you hitting? I'm going, eight. <laughs> <laughs> and then proceed to chunk it short of the green, and he was gone. Oh, man. Oh, man. So I've done that. So do two more at 120 yards. Milk that feel. Full backswing, soft throw, 120. And it's like, you just try to keep it under 120. Yeah. As soon as that kinetic chain engages, that sucker's gone, right? Yeah. So you remember those lovely pitch shots you were doing before? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So we're doing a nice full pitch with that seven iron. Oh, look at that. So it's coming around to the flag and you just flew that green. Yeah. So how much effort did you use there? Like two. Two out of 10 for effort. And so you basically went for the full distance there. Mm -hmm. But your brain's saying, yeah, impossible. Yeah. Can't, no way, Yeah. right? So there's your reset button. So we just established your reset button, which is a very like, like I basically have a freaking stadium full of, you know, hardcore, you know, swing hard people saying, yeah. yeah, yeah, that worked for me too. Yeah. Okay. So let's see you finish with a nice note. Oops. Still, sorry, still a 120, please. Oh, look at that. See how you're landing on the back side of that green. So yeah. those are, you know, even though the greens are small, but that's 160 easy. Mm -hmm. And you're just trying to hit it 120. You just basically didn't put anything in that. Yeah. So we're going full backswing, full finish. Let me do one. Mm -hmm. There's my spot. Huge backswing, huge finish. And look at that ghost, huh? Still going. Right? Yeah. I mean, that didn't even sniff the green. Yeah. And it felt... Easy? Well, it felt easy, but it felt right. Yeah. yeah you notice that? Yeah. It just feels like everything is in sequence yeah. when you do that. And, and that, that mental preparation that you do, um, you know, it... Um, the brain goes, yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly what we're looking for. Now, your real, your, the real full swing that you do should only feel like 10% more of what you just did. Okay. At a, a top, top, top. Yeah. Okay? So, one more at 120. Just full range of motion. Soft throw way out there. Okay, so your brain says that's not a throw out there. No. Good. That's a throw out there. Yeah. And it's still in the air. <laughs> and it's just landing <laughs> now. <laughs> right? Yeah. How easy was that? 
So if you're swinging easy like that all day, the consistency will come very, very quickly.